All right, friends, we're back with another video, man. And it's Jason Blaha Strength and Fitness, our good friend, the Lifting Fitness Gym Slave, bro. Yeah, man. So uh, he says glucose is the primary fuel source of the human body. Well, I wouldn't uh, disagree that your body can make glucose out of ketones if you're on a natural if you're on a natural diet. Yeah. Hey everybody, it's Jason Blah here, and today I want to chat with you guys a little bit about something that, that people almost treat like lately in the fitness world as some uh, uh, point of conflict, and it, and it really is not uh, conflict. Uh, it is biologically true, it's well understood in biology, it's well understood in, in the medical literature, that for humans, uh, glucose, which is blood sugar, is our primary and preferred fuel source, right? Um, Sugar, he said sugar, you mean refined, man-made sugar, engineered? You Are you talking about engineered plants, uh, fruits and vegetables, which are engineered by man? Or the natural stuff that's out in nature, would you actually eat any of that stuff if you were a hunter out in nature? No. All these things you're eating, they're artificial because they're man-made. You're eating a lot of artificial man-made stuff. Now, if it's out there in nature somewhere natural and you go out there and try to eat it, I doubt that you'd want to eat that, believe me, because I have a tree up north and it's a natural tree. Natural apple tree, okay? Those apples taste like shit, believe me. You wouldn't want to eat a natural apple from a natural tree that grows in the forest, that you happen upon it. Believe me, you take one bite, it tastes soury like shit, and you throw it. So yeah, the stuff that they make is engineered. Do you need do you need these engineered glucose food gl glucose from these foods? No, you don't need them, and they're fructose. So our cells generally prefer it as a fuel source. They're efficient at it. it no, no, it doesn't. So even science will tell you, and your body will tell you, your body runs better on on fat. Your your mitochondria they function much better on fat. Now, I'm not saying that complex carbohydrates, you can't function on them. They do. They do. But over time, they'll corrupt you and it'll, it'll fuck you over time. It says that in science. They mentioned it. They've done tests on it. So it's not like they faked it. You know what I mean? They already know. They've mentioned this. Yes, you could use complex carbohydrates. But over time, it'll fuck your body. You understand me? When you get older, you're going to pay the consequences for doing that, for doing these artificial things. <laughs> yeah, the, the primary fuel that your, that your mitochondria run off of is animal fat. You know, and then people will bring up things of, well, with my type 2 diabetes, it isn't. It's like, well, no, it actually is, right? Uh, no, it's not because, again, excess, that's excessive amounts of glucose, and eventually your, uh, what do you call it, uh, the insulin cannot remove this excessive amount of glucose in the bloodstream. And so your T cells come around, they go, hey, this is unusually high. And then they kill your B cells and then they don't produce any more insulin. Yeah, that's kind of like uh, it's kind of like telling you, hey, man, I think you should stop doing this. You know, if the T cells come around, kill your insulin and you feel fucking really bad, it's kind of obviously it's kind of obvious it's telling you to stop poisoning us that's why your body's doing that what do the people do well i'm going to go to the doctor they're going to give me insulin injections so i can continue in this behavior and keep eating sugar so i can shorten my lifespan yeah okay great <laughs> because you've developed type 2 diabetes which can be put into remission with lifestyle changes and weight loss <laughs> ask yourself this why is your coach on steroids why does he need them he says this is so beneficial, it's lifting, it's so healthy for you and all that. Oh, it is, is it? It's fucking healthy, eh? Yeah. Uh, it doesn't mean that your cells need for glucose. And why does he look like he's 75 years old, a 75 retired old man? Look, at, like, it looks weird here. I don't know what this, this look, it just looks, it looks like pumpkin weird. His waist is really thick. Jesus. He's got no butt, nothing. His legs are really weird, his calves. He's suffering from sarcopenia and his arms are skinny. If you look at him on his, his side profile, he's got small arms. But he's doing all he can right here now, getting pumped up. As reduced is that your ability to utilize insulin correctly, 
right? Your ability to utilize insulin correctly to transport it to them has been compromised. And how do you do that? Well, I'm not saying that complex car carbohydrates can't help in that they don't spike insulin. They, they, it's slow and act, it's slow acting, it's slow absorbing. And so can that help shuffle, um, can these complex carbohydrates help you in putting or in, pro, in the aiding in protein synthesis? Definitely, of course it can. I never said it couldn't. I'm not talking about all these other vegetables and fruits and things and all that. I'm just talking about complex carb, like a potato, for example, is a complex carbohydrate. Can it aid in building muscle? Yes, I would re I recommend it, I've done it in the past. The two things I recommend that I eat a lot of is animal products and complex carbohydrates. And I would add another amino acid. The amino acid that I used at the time was brewer's yeast. That's about the only thing that I use because the uptake of brewer's yeast is that, is that of animal protein. So three things you want to arm yourself with. And I'm not saying you have to do that, okay? Because it's not a shitty product made by like whey protein, these fucking waste products. So brewer's yeast would be one as an amino acid, a, a, an amino, like it says there in, uh, what is it? The nutritional thing from protein exceeds this breakdown, the thing from NCBI. So they, re they recommend it too. So you need an amino acid, number one. If you're a serious lifter, that would be brewer's yeast. I use that as, as, as a natural amino acid. Number two, complex carbohydrate, okay? That will spare protein, build muscle, and in, in the insulin, it's not spiking. And so you need that insulin to be anabolic, blah, 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 and a bunch of other things. Okay, number three, animal products, protein. You need a lot of it and a variety of it. Seafood, omega-3s, whatever. Beef, a lot of beef, different kinds of beef, whatever. I don't know, chicken, if you want to eat that too, I don't know. Depends. So it's up to you, man. But um, yeah, try to eat the best, uh, the best types of meat and a complex carbohydrate and an amino acid like brewer's yeast. And these three combinations, they will really help you, believe me. Right, this is a metabolic health issue and that's why it's such a major health issue. Okay, and people need to understand that. It's, it, that is literally why, because it's interfering with your ability to transport glucose correctly. But I will recommend, yeah, it does. I will. <laughs> Man, look, as you get older, I don't think you want to be eating any complex carbohydrates or anything with sugar at all. You're going to become very dysfunctional. I would increase the animal fats and protein, and you're going to function and work and be a lot better. Now, I know athletes now are on high fat, high fat carnivore diets, and they function way better. But it's something you got to get your body used to because your problem is you're used to eating all these glucose foods, these drugs. Plants are drugs. All drugs are made from plants and all plants are drugs. So you're, you're addicted to these drugs, these plants. You get it, man? Because they're high energy. They're all high energy, like cocaine and everything, whatever. They're all high energy foods, man. It's what they do. So you're addicted to them. Yeah. They'll fuck you when you're older. That is a, a, a serious health problem. That's why it's so dangerous. That's why it's so problematic. And that's why until it's gotten under control, it compromises health on so many levels. Because your body actually still needs the glucose. Okay, and that's where people need to be clear on these. Nah, man, your body does need the glucose. If your body wants glucose, it'll, it'll produce it in the form of these ketones. Thanks. You, you, that doesn't remove the need for it. It just removes your ability to do to, to. No, your your mitochondria again your mitochondria function better on animal fat. It's something you need to experiment with and find out for yourself. Get it particularly well, right? But because now that you're filled with all these oxalates, you've been you've been piling up these oxalates in your body. It takes about a year to get rid of these oxalates and even longer. I don't know. They can be in your body floating around for fucking years. They call it oxalate dumping. That's what happens. Now that you go on a carnivore diet, you're going to have problems with oxalate dumping. So you need to get rid of all these things that you've caused already, the damage you've caused your body. That, again, so we need to understand that's why it's bad. <laughs> because it's a problem. Uh, 
but, but again, what we need to understand with this, our, our, a glucose-based diet to where our body gets plenty of glucose is our natural healthy state, right? That is our health. No, that's not healthy. He's lying. The metabolic state, that's where we function best. And again... No, we, no, we don't. It's a drug. It's drugs. Sugar is drugs. You don't function. It just... It's, it's like... It's like cocaine eventually. It's like a drug addict. Eventually it'll wear you down and age you. You'll look terrible. And I'm not saying our body cannot burn fat for fuel. It will always burn some fat for fuel. Okay? And not just when people are in ketosis. Um, we yes, in ketosis, yes. We'll always burn some fat for fuel, obviously. It's just that it is. Will you burn some fat for fuel? Yeah, of course. Some fat will be burned as fuel. It depends. You're not going through a famine, are you? <laughs> I don't know. It all depends on the the climate, the what you're eating, how much you're eating. Depends. The preferred secondary fuel source, the backup fuel source, most of the time for the human body. But what we need to be clear upon is that cannot be used for everything. Okay, it absolutely cannot. Um, there... Look, I understand that you're all unnatural because you live in this artificial world called cities and so you're so used to living an artificial lifestyle eating these artificial foods so you're so unintouched un in touch with nature you're not in touch with nature anymore so in your mind you don't you can't you can't fathom you can't correlate this oh nature and the artificial world of course like Jason Blaha your coach here can't differentiate between nature and the artificial world he's all over the place Two, two situations in which uh, carbohydrates are absolute. Yes, he thinks the, uh, the artificial world is real. And, and carbohydrates meaning blood sugar, in this case glucose, um, are absolutely required to function at all, not just optimizing health. Number one. That's a lie. That's a lie. Science, it's even in science, and people know this, people have done tests. Animal fat, that's what you require for your mitochondria to function. You do not need any type of glucose whatsoever. That's why people are becoming dysfunctional. Any sort of really high output uh, exercise, right? Any sort of anaerobic exercise is generally gonna be sprinting, weightlifting, things like that. Okay, that is entire. Sprinting? When's the last time coach ever sprinted? Early glucose. You cannot burn fat for those things. It, can, it cannot be done. It does not work. He does He does a zero sports. What a carryover, huh? Oh, this is a carryover. Yeah, powerlifting is a carryover to this and that. No, it's not. It's not a carryover to anything. It's just something you're doing. It's not a carryover. Man, he's just wasting his time here. This is unpleasurable. Right? That is only be is able to be utilized for more endurance type training, but we'll still per preferentially burn carbohydrate for that most of the time. And number two, your brain really? cells. Your brain cannot function off of ketones or fat. It can to a very limited extent. That's a lie. It, it functions off of animal fat. If you don't get enough of it, it's going to be dysfunctional. The reason why you're getting headaches when you stop eating these drugs is because your brain is addicted to it. It's the dopamine and the addiction. Yeah, that's what's really happening. But uh, without glucose, uh, you, your brain pretty much shuts down within a matter of minutes. Okay? We need to be in... That's a, that's a lie. Your brain is not going to shut down if you don't eat glucose. Your body will make glucose, so it won't shut down. You'd be very, very clear on that. So people need to understand it's not a case of, hey, you can just get that adapted and adapt everything to always burn fat, because you can't. And we also need to be clear that that is still not always the... Welcome to Olympia Steel Buildings. And we also need to be clear that that is still not always the most uh, effective fuel source. The human body prefers... Yes, it is the most effective fuel source and the body prefers fat, okay? He's lying to you. He's lying. Shit, sorry about that. He's lying. He's lying. Most uh, effective fuel source. The human body prefers... That is a backup emergency supply. That's why we store fat. No, it doesn't. That's a lie. That's a lie. It needs animal fat. 
and not triglyceride fat from our fats in our body. Fat. That's why we have fat cells. And, and and what? That's why we have fat cells filled with triglyceride. What are you talking about? This guy's stupid, man. You need animal fat, okay? And again, we need to be clear on this. When we look closely at the data, you're not storing carbohydrate even as body fat. We're storing dietary fat. No, you're storing carbohydrate as an energy. If you're eating that, it'll store in your muscles. They could store a lot as ATP. But you're also you're also getting if you're getting fat because your your body is they're lacking nutrients and your body is going hey we're starving here you're starving that's why North Americans why do you think North Americans are all getting fat they're eating all these fuck they're eating a lot of food aren't they they're going they're eating good right they're healthy yeah they're eating all these fast food places and everywhere why are they all getting fat people why are they all getting fat because your food lacks nutrients and so your body thinks it's starving. So it'll put on fat because it thinks it's going through a famine. Uh, and, and yeah, so what I'm suggesting... So what happens when you eat a high-nutrient diet, like a carnivore diet? Why are people's bodies restored to normal? Why do they lose a shitload of fat? Why do they look slim and beautiful and nice on a carnivore diet? Because it's not lacking in any nutrients. And your muscle cells, all they want is nutrients and high animal fat. That's all to function properly. It's kind of obvious on the face of it. We already know this. It's online everywhere on YouTube. You just look at people do carnivore diet. Their bodies have been restored, okay? You know, I'm not saying everyone needs to do a low-fat diet. And I wanna... When they start eating glucose, they look like him, the Michelin man, okay? That's what happens. You, get blo you look bloated, soft, puffy, and weird. Be clear on that. I have plenty of clients who eat more fat in their diet. Um, look at Saladino. Look at Saladino. He looks muscular. Look at um, Sean Baker. He looks muscular. Look at their bodies. They're hard, dense, and muscular. Because why? Because they're on fucking carnivore diet, bro. All these people on carnivore diets. What's Dr. Shafee? Look at Dr. Shafee. He's on carnivore diet. Look at his body. It's fucking muscular, tight, hard. Yeah, man. Clients who need to add more fat to their diet to even maintain their body weight. Do you need to see more? Do you need to see more? Look at his body. Puffy. It's puffy, rounded. He has no muscle. He has absolutely zero muscle. That puffy look is the is the is the herbivore diet. He's on a herbivore diet. Look at his food basket, what he eats. His tofu shit, whatever, garbage, fucking soy. It's all garbage food, man. Because of their appetite, caloric intake, other things. So, um... And then he's like doing all this lifting. And for what? If you're on a carnivore diet, your body transforms automatically. You don't need to lift. Boy, he's got to lift. In the gym, of course he has to. He's a lifting slave. I'm not being dogmatic in this position. I'm not saying there's no wiggle room. I'm not saying there's no nuance. Because obviously there is. But what I am saying is that by and large, your diet needs to be biased towards carbohydrate if your goal is optimal health, optimal function, optimal athleticism. No, I'm going to tell you, artificial glucose is not the primary source of the human body. It is not the primary source. Okay, glucose. I'll just say this. Glucose is not the primary source. Animal fat is. Okay, and if we start talking maximizing body composition, uh, it, it absolutely, absolutely makes sense to, for most people. And again, I'll at least admit, notice I said most people, we're not going to be fully dogmatic. There can be exceptions to this rule. But for most people being extreme in order to, to get the energy to gain muscle, there isn't, you don't need energy to gain muscle. The reason why you're doing a complex, let's just say, the reason why you're doing a complex carbohydrate is because it's slow, it's slow, it's slow absorbing. So it's not spiking insulin, it's increasing insulin, but it's not spiking and that insulin can be anabolic and it can help in aid in protein synthesis if you are a serious lifter trying to build muscle in a gym. That's all I'm explaining to you. But once you do build that muscle, you can cut that complex carbohydrate off when you reach a level that you find is optimal for you. I don't know what that is, okay? I can't tell you. So <laughs> I wouldn't do it forever. It's not something you want to do forever. Christ, it's unhealthy. It's 
that the carbohydrates themselves do not store as body fat, not to the... No, they spike... I'm not saying... Car he says carbohydrate. He didn't add the complex to the end of it, so I'm going to explain this. Carbohydrates spike your insulin, so the fat that's in your diet will 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 convert into fat. Will make will make you fat. Okay, that's what's going to happen. Appreciable degree that people would like to think that they do. Again, I've covered in va in vast detail how that works when it happens, where they're stored. Um, but it's how the fuck would he know where they're stored? How that happens? Fuck, he doesn't know anything very inefficient process okay carbohydrate is more likely to end up being stored in muscle tissue as glucose it's going to carbohydrates stored in muscle glucose tissues complex carbohydrates they store in there if it's if it's a simple carb it'll store in the liver but it won't store in the muscles that's why people who eat complex carbohydrates like you'll see a lot of asians eat a lot of rice it's complex and then they'll eat a lot of like potatoes these people their muscles get really big. They get really big muscles because ATP. They're loading glycogen in there. Sarcoplasmic hypertrophy. To create a better anabolic response for your muscle tissue. Yeah, the complex carbohydrate does that, but not simple carbs. Going to create a better training environment to where you can using body fat. Doing all these things is already hard enough, right? This is stuff that of by necessity for just more bullshit people who struggle really struggle to eat enough to either maintain body weight or to gain any body weight at all when you're attempting to gain muscle mass they struggle to eat enough because they can't afford to eat man i gotta go i'll see you in the next one glucose is not the primary fuel source of the of the mitochondria it's animal fat is i'll see you in the next one ciao friends